So I took an 18 minute video, hit stop, and it's gone. <laughs> so may maybe I will have the energy to do another video here for you guys. Let's see if I can paraphrase everything that I just said that ended up getting deleted. This is a health and wellness update. I told Jeremy, I'm going to go do a vlog about a health and wellness update. And he laughed and said, health and wellness, isn't that an oxymoron for what's been going on? Okay, so he says that because a lot's been going on, but me going to the gym has not been one of those things. Okay, so where do we leave off? I went to the doctor and I got testing done. She thought I had, you know, hormones out of control, um, between breastfeeding and my body trying to ovulate, all this kind of crazy stuff that's just too much information has been going on. And so she did some testing. Well, the test came back a couple of things. One, I was low on B12. I was borderline deficient. And I asked her, well, shouldn't I get a B12 shot? Because she wanted me to take B12 supplements. And she said, no, insurance doesn't pay for shots unless you're deficient. The difference being that your body, when you're deficient, can't absorb, absorb B12. I guess right below the stomach in the lower intestine, there's an area... Maybe the upper intestine. I don't know what's right below the stomach. I'm not a doctor. But um, there, where the B12 is absorbed, just below the stomach area, um, the body has a hard time doing that. And that's when a person becomes deficient. That's when they have to have a shot to help the body absorb it properly. I'm borderline. I think it was like 400 and below. You're deficient. I was at like 467 or something. So she had me get B12 supplements. Um, vitamin D supplements, and then I'm taking the Juice Plus, which is keeping me very healthy and giving me a lot of vitamin C, a lot of other really um, delicious nutrients, making my skin look great, um, my hair is getting a lot longer. I'm just overall feeling uh, pretty good. So the other thing that came back, though, on the testing uh, was that my hormones, though they need some help uh, readjusting to life after children, I have hypoglycemia. So where you have a normal person's blood sugar kind of does this. Don't look at my hey buddy. Hey buddy. Does this. Um, and a diabetics goes, just keeps going up. Uh, somebody with hypoglycemia goes, and it crashes. And what I, I guess, uh, if I remember correctly, hypoglycemic levels were 60 and below on whatever test she did. I, I don't remember. And I was a 67. And I was two weeks into eating better, taking my juice plus, high protein, high vegetable. And so she believes that had I not already been doing that, I would have been like bottomed out in the low 40s, she thought. Um, and so... That was a little scary because it's a pre it can be a precursor to diabetes. So I have to watch what I eat. Um, you add to finding all this out and then wanting, you know, trying to get that in check. I started feeling really great and then I was feeling so great that I forgot why I was feeling great, which was my supplements, my proper eating. I got so busy opening up my new business yay, that I... Forgot to do all that and started feeling like total garbage for the last couple of weeks. And then I went, oh, I'm not taking care of myself. So um, the hypoglycemia is the reason why if I have any sugar before bed, I'm not sleeping at night. It's the reason I'm crashing in the middle of the day. And, you know, I, I, w I just wasn't taking care of myself because I was taking care of other people and little people to be exact. And so Jeremy's laughing because I haven't actually gone to the gym. Um, now, we have three months until Mexico, so I have to go to the gym. I refuse to be uncomfortable when I go to Mexico. Now, I'm thin and tall, but i it's what I like to call, well, my former personal trainer when we were in Virginia told me I was skinny fat. Yeah, that was really nice. Not a nice word. Basically, thin and not in shape is what he was getting at. And so I do need to tone up, get a little color so I don't burn to a crisp, get mentally ready to leave my kids for the first time on a trip to Mexico. Um, 
that's freaking me out a little. And I also need to balance all that with the fact that I've opened Arotelari, which means to roll. And that began when I was quilling. I thought, what would be a great name for my quilling? Um, because people were wanting to buy it. I have it in a store or two here in town. Um, and now I've got it in this space. I'm renting a space from, it's considered a flea market. It's one of Denver's top flea markets. And they are voted one of Denver area's top flea markets because we're not in Denver. Um, but it's huge space, and you can rent particular, it's like 225 a square foot, depending on how much space you want, to put your own store, but you have to make it look like a, you know, a little store or whatever. So we've been decorating, doing walls and stuff, um, and try to reach a certain amount of sales once you've been there a while, and pay a little commission plus booth rent to have your stuff in this store. So I thought, well, you know, Jeremy said to me, uh, a few weeks ago, why don't you take everything that you've been doing, crafty, crafty Sally, for the last couple of years and combine it into one thing and see if it's successful and then we go from there. And I thought, well, this would be a good little pop-up store to see if it's something that's going to appeal to a lot of people and then I can maybe get my own store down the road. Right after somebody buys me a farm, these little sheep, if you follow me on Facebook, then you know that there are sheep two doors down now and those people are going to be lucky if they're not missing a sheep soon because between my dog jumping the fence and going down there all like sheep and accidentally wrestling one to its death because she's so excited to play with it it's like my worst fear um I might steal one so if I'm in jail and you read about some crazy lady who decided to start up her own farm in the middle of Longmont downtown district because she wanted a neighbor's sheep that's me so cute. They have this ball they play with. It's either a sheep or another baby. That's what it's boiling down to. You know, I, something. <laughs> it's okay. I don't have to breastfeed a sheep. Um, so I'm doing the business. I'm starting it up. I have no space to refurbish except my own patio. And so when it's super bad weather out like it is right now outside in Colorado um, this week I'm kind of behind on big pieces all my competitors are selling like crazy big pieces and I've got rocking chairs and side tables in there right now I'm trying to remember that it's baby steps like financially it's baby steps what we're investing which was a lot to start it up I'm also trying to remember that I can't do everything all in the same day and if you read my last blog which was a couple days ago or whatever I said, I'm always helping other people. I've got the mommy phone tree that happens, you know, with texting. I've got the Montessori stuff I'm still doing. Um, I'm, you know, answering questions and sending literature out to people. And, but what I'm, and there's a lot of people that that happens with actually, even if it's just a Facebook message like, hey, you know, my kid's not sleeping or hey, you know, my kid's biting or just whatever it is. It's a lot of communication that goes on, and I act, right now I'm doing it all for free. It's all friends and friends of friends. And so between all this stuff going on, I have not made time to go to the gym. It's the moral story. But there is a lot going on. And so when Jeremy's laughing, he just knows I've been really busy, and the health and wellness has not been at the forefront of my mind. I've actually been feeling pretty crappy the last couple of weeks, because like I said, I forgot that I officially have to take care of myself. And I do not like to say I have hypoglycemia, I have diabetes, or I have diabetes, or I, like, or, or no, scratch that. I like to say I have, when people say I have hypoglycemia, or I have diabetes, instead of I am hypoglycemic, or I am a diabetic. I feel like there's a different language happening when you label yourself something versus when you say you have it and you're managing it and controlling it. Hypoglycemia isn't, um, you know, like some major issue, but it is a precursor to a major issue, which is diabetes and just the way you feel overall right now, if you're me. So now that we've sorted that, now that I'm getting sleep, managing my eating um, habits and that, then hopefully now I can find time to go to the gym uh, and do the youth group and do my new business and be a mom. There. So, um, yeah, that's what's going to happen. If you're on my Facebook, then you've seen that I've opened a page for my business. Like it. Like it, like it.
and share it. I've also joined a women's business group here in town. We met for the first time yesterday. I went to their meeting for the first time yesterday. It was incredible. There's a huge, huge group of women here in town. They're very successful entrepreneurs and they meet every Friday here in Longmont and I am now a member. And so I started going to that to network. Um, they support one another's business by local. I'll tell you what, I'm so sick. When I get my farm, I'm going to grow my own food once I get that lamb. But uh, in the meantime, I'm so sick of having to go to Target and Walmart, buy clothes that, you know, from Target that have a hole in them like a day later and, you know, <sighs> groceries that I don't know where they're coming from and just all this consumerism and all the money we're spending. Like when there's 150 businesses, two blocks from me. And so I'm committing to small business this women's group is committed to small business. That's what they do. Um, the founder, the owner of the group or, you know, proprietor of the group, uh, loves to empower and support women. And so I'm networking now that way. I'm networking on my Facebook. I'm going to be networking via a website where you can buy my treasures <laughs> and my things. If you're local, if you're not, but that's a lot of shipping. Um, and I'm going to get ready for Mexico in my spare time. We also have somebody probably coming every Wednesday now for four hours so that I can do stuff when I get behind. And I'm slowly branching out to see where it takes me. If you read my last blog, you know that I do not like change. I'm always doing it for other people. I'm doing it for free. <laughs> and now is time to do something that is lucrative for myself, both spiritually and creatively, but also hopefully financially in a, even a small way so that I can just hang out with my kids and be mom, you know? Um, but part of that is that I do need to start taking care of myself and actually getting to the gym. Right now it's too cold to be outside and I just don't like to be outside. I like to meander outside and be like, look at the birds and the trees and take a picture. And I've had this conversation with so many people who love to run outside no, I like to get on a treadmill, see how far I've gone, go in a straight line, zone out and get off the thing when I'm done. It doesn't matter if I put it on a program and I go up and down hills, whatever on the treadmill. I don't like to be outside all like, <gasps> you know, unless I'm slow motioning it, like hiking or swimming, you know, something leisurely. I don't like to kill myself outside and then miss all of the grandeur that is the mountains, you know, right here in front of my face or all over my own feet. So I just like to be on a treadmill. So I do have to go to the gym, but I'm going to commit to, um, empowering you guys if you need it for the next forever, however long this goes on this blog. Um, I would like to encourage you by taking uncomfortable steps myself and succeeding at it and, or failing. <laughs> That's fine. And, uh, but trying and the healthiness that's about to take over us all and my preparation for Mexico, I would like to, um, encourage you all to not steal baby lambs if your neighbors have them and, um, to, Ooh, one last thing to just be happy. But here's my email all lowercase amy dot l dot granger at gmail dot com the first three people who message me with an idea for a blog something they'd like to hear about something they'd like me to video about something like take pictures of yourself before you start working out we all want to laugh at you or you know <laughs> whatever I'm going to start uh, I'm going to do those first three let's say the first five blogs and I'm going to start tonight with one. Um, first five people who message me and have an idea, want to know my take on something, want to know what's going on, you can message me at my Gmail account, all lowercase, amy.l.granger at gmail.com. Do not spam me with something. I don't want it. But I want your ideas, and then I can blog about them. I mean, I kind of come up with ideas, and then I get so tired, or a day goes by, and I completely forget what I was going to do. So 
feel free to give me those ideas and I'm going to put them at the forefront of what we talk about the next couple times. Maybe help me give myself a little brain space and then I'll keep you updated on what's going on with my health and wellness. But um, so far I'm feeling much better now that I know I need to manage the way I'm feeling in the crashes of the sugar, blood sugar with the eating. Um, I can now start focusing on the actual exercise itself. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Message me. Let me know what you think.